The African rhino is a seriously endangered species and the northern white rhino is on the brink of extinction after the recent death of a female rhino. Now only four northern white rhinos are remaining and one of them is male. VOS George Pudik reports that scientists are using two distinct strategies to save them. The biggest threat to rhinos are poachers who kill them for their horns. In spite of a lack of scientific proof, many in Vietnam and China believe that pills made of ground rhino horns can cure various diseases and disorders. Since 2008, poachers in South Africa have killed almost 3,000 rhinos, and International Union for Conservation of Nature warns that they may become extinct before 2026. The northern white rhinoceros, which is actually grey, is extinct in the wild. There are only four animals of this subspecies left, and all of them are held in captivity. Three females and the only male called Sudan. If we lost him, it will be a very big loss for the endangered species. Natural pregnancy and birth among the four are unlikely, so at Kenya's All Pajeta Conservancy, scientists are trying to inseminate northern white rhino eggs in the lab and implant them in southern white rhino females. The initial approach will be to look at in vitro fertilization, removal of eggs from females, two remaining females, sorry, three remaining females, and mixing those eggs with sperm, which is stored from northern white rhinos across the world, um, to create an embryo which would then be implanted into a surrogate white rhino female to create a purebred northern white rhino calf. Meanwhile, two US-based scientists say they are using the latest biotechnology techniques to create artificial rhino horn, something that not only looks and feels like the real thing, but contains the same proteins. We're not bioidentical yet, though that's the goal. They hope that poachers will find it cheaper and safer to resell the lab-grown horns to their Asian customers as authentic, rather than to risk their lives or long prison sentences hunting for real rhinos. No matter how they test the substance, customers will not be able to tell the difference. Researchers say flooding the market with artificial horns may keep the animals with the real horns safe from poachers. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.